thoughts on entering a POW camp. A couple thousand men behind barbed wire, dust covered, slouching impassively in twos and threes, unshaven, vacant eyed, puffing cigarettes. Familiar faces but lacking their old spirit, except a new will to insolence. The one he loved, how long before seeing her again? Had the band snapped? Was it as though, for her, the virtue had gone out of him? Would there be traces of that barbed wire on his face that would shock her? How could it? All respect for his valor, like his valor itself, should certainly suffer no diminution from having been taken prisoner after bailing out of that inferno of an ex-bomber. And yet, he would change. He knew it. Those damn 109s, those senseless, stinging machines with their rattling machine gun fire, and his own 500-pound bombs crushing buildings and people like nuts, ground under the heel, and the remorseless thunder of flak. The symmetrical perspective of the barracks. Be honest. Weren't there certain pleasant prospects, though tinged with shameful selfishness? Still living, thank God. The war. A bad war, badly begun and badly fought, has stopped for him. Money would accumulate. Not crippled. Not blind. Not burned. Thank God.